Do you want to know what it takes to become a model in 2022? These are easy steps for everyone to apply. Get your phone out and take notes. Here's a visual guide on how to become a model in 2022. Welcome to La Dome Style. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to La Dome Style. My name is Temperance Monet and I am a fashion model signed to a model management and I am here to give you all advice on how to become a model, things about the industry, avoidances, but today we're going to be talking about how to become a model in 2022. What ways and avenues can you use to be seen by model scouts and get signed to that modeling agency that you love, that you're interested in, that you've been dreaming to become a model for? So with that being said, let's get into the video. So the first thing I want to talk about with becoming a model, which I feel like is the most important thing, so we're just going to start off with that, is social media. And I know a lot of you all may not want to hear that because a lot of times social media can be overwhelming. To have to post a certain amount of times a week, let alone a day, can be very overwhelming. People have things to do. You're in school. You work a job. But social media is so important when it comes to becoming a model. There are so many people that want to be a model, especially nowadays with social media and brand deals and things of that nature. So that's a good thing and I wouldn't say it's a bad thing, but it's something that you have to work on because everyone is on social media. So you have to stand out on your own. Now with social media and becoming a model and getting scouted, you want I would say the easiest way to do that or the easiest route to go is to be yourself, obviously. You don't want to be someone else. Be yourself. It just makes it easier for you to keep up with things and to upload and you can apply your interests. So let me get a little more into that. So for social media, for instance, you have your profile. What do you put on there? You want to put things that interest you and you want to make sure that you are the main object of the subject. So say like you love dogs. You have a dog. You love walking your dog. You love playing with your dog or you just love dogs in general. Show images of you playing with your dog, walking with your dog, show videos, do Instagram stories, but also make sure that you are dressed accordingly. Make sure you look presentable. Make sure that your hair looks presentable. It doesn't have to be made up like you're at a photo shoot, but just like my hair is pulled back. That's totally fine. Just make sure you look presentable. Your clothes are not wrinkled. You're wearing something basic. Like you can wear something basic like this. I have a basic tank top and then I have these uh, let me try to show you all. I have these capris with me, or, or with me. I have these capris on. Um, so this is like a basic outfit that you can wear on your social media, walking your dog, or if you love to paint, show yourself at your art class, or show behind the scenes, or you just have to show personality, show what you love to do or what you're interested in. If you're someone who loves art, show yourself at art class, show yourself with your friends in art, show yourself um, or have someone film you drawing and kind of make it like your three-fourth shot. Something that shows your body so that when agents and scouts are on your Instagram, they can not only see your interests, but they also see what you look like, what your body looks like. And also they know that you have an interest and they can use that when it comes to booking you for certain jobs. Maybe they'll book you for a job that has something to do with art or something of that nature. Or if it comes to high fashion, they just know that you have an interest and clients love that as well. So when clients request models, not only can they show your portfolio and your digitals, but they also usually show your Instagram as well and your Instagram shows an interesting aspect about you, which is what you love to do. Clients love that, they fall in love with personality, maybe you're speaking, maybe you're drawing, maybe they're into drawing as well. I mean, it's art, design, modeling, it all goes together. So just make sure that you show your interest on your Instagram. The other thing with that is modeling pictures on social media. You don't have to have professional models to become a model, but you do wanna have 
have some images of yourself on your social media. So maybe you want to do outfit of the days. Pick a spot in your house, outside, your backyard. Have friends, family, someone take pictures of you. A lot of times that can't happen. So if it's just you by yourself and you don't want to drive or walk to locations to take pictures, maybe you're not, you know, comfortable with that, then do it at home. Find a location or go on Pinterest and see what other people are doing as far as taking pictures in the house. Where are they taking it? On the couch, on the patio, in the kitchen. But just take images of yourself so that you really don't have to invest in a portfolio at the moment. See where that takes you and build your Instagram on that. As far as TikTok, create a TikTok account, do the dances or anything on TikTok that may be trending, may not be trending. Just be on there because scouts are on TikTok. They're on TikTok looking for models. They're on Instagram looking for models. They're on YouTube looking for models. So just make sure that you have a social media presence. Be on social media. Figure out what you love to do. What not necessarily defines you, but what are you interested in? What do you want to show people? And put that on your social media. Clients love to see it. Scouts love to see it. And it'll be a lot easier for you to be seen, scouted, and signed to a modeling agency just through your marketing. Another reason why marketing yourself on social media is so important in 2022 is that a model that's signed to the model management that I'm signed to by the name of Hannah, she was scouted by our mother agent through Instagram. Instagram and she didn't have a huge following or engagement or all of these likes. All she had was herself on her Instagram doing what she loved to do, taking simple photos, and she was scouted just by doing that. Now that may not happen for all of us. It's not that easy for all of us. It, that definitely didn't happen for me. I took another route which I'll be glad to share with you all in another video. But I'm just letting you all know that it's so simple to be scouted on Instagram. You don't know what model agents are looking for. You don't even know the type of model that modeling agencies are looking for. It could be you. Your look could be it. A lot of times we question ourselves, do I have model potential? Do I have the height? Do I have, you know, clear skin like models? Do I have healthy hair like models? Are agents going to be interested in me? You really don't know what agents and scouts are looking for. So put yourself on social media. Do that for a couple of months, show your interest, do what you love to do and see where that takes you. Another way to becoming a model is submitting to a modeling agency's website. And I know that seems ancient and I know everyone already knows that, but still do it. Never weed out anything that can help you become a model. While a lot of people are on Instagram and are on TikTok trying to get discovered and trying to become a model through there, you could simply submit through a modeling agency's website with less competition. Maybe not that many people are submitting to local modeling agency's websites in your area. You just never know. No, so never weed out submitting online. Make sure that you are reading the requirements on the website. Take digitals, which I will gladly do a video on how to take digitals. Make sure you thumbs up this video and comment down below that you want to see that. Just so I'm assured that everyone wants to see that I'm not just making like videos out of nowhere. <laughs> but make sure that you take digitals. Make sure that the lighting is good. Make sure that you meet the height requirement, the age requirement, and never rule out submitting to local modeling agencies in your area. I know a lot of people want to model for Wilhelmina and the Society and IMG Models. Submitting to those top agencies can be very competitive. So why not submit locally to a modeling agency that's reputable in your area? Allow your mother agent to help develop your portfolio and get you ready for the big leads. Any agency in a local area that's reputable has connections with top modeling agencies. So never rule out the underdog. Submit to agencies locally as well as the big ones because you never know. You may get seen by Wilhelmina, by IMG, by Ford Models, but just never rule out the underdog. Another way of getting discovered and becoming a model in 2022 are hashtags. Hashtags are not dead, they're still relevant, and not only hashtags, but actually tagging the modeling agency in your photos. So when you upload, before you upload a photo, it says like people to tag, tag the modeling agency in your photo and do hashtags as well. We've already talked about Instagram and TikTok and how it's important to post relevant content and to post content of things that you're interested in, but you want to make sure that you are following modeling agencies, not just the ones that are your favorite. Follow all the modeling agencies that are top agencies 
and all the agencies that are local in your area or that are local in the next state over so if you live in Atlanta follow agencies that are in Florida as well follow agencies that are in Tennessee as well because you could potentially get signed to those modeling agencies as well now you do have to travel there but still you can become a model so make sure that you are following a wide range of modeling agencies and engage with them the proper way to engage with a modeling agency or a model scout is just to comment things that you naturally love about the images that they are posting now you don't have to go through the their feed and write comments on all the previous content that they've already posted but you can pick a few of them like a couple of pictures like a couple of images say some things that you like about it and when it comes to the relevant content that they begin to post while you just started following them that's when you start commenting on things so say like they post something today and you see it comment what you love about it what you love about the model how the model is posing or if it's a candid image and they're with their dog or if they're on vacation comment something about that keep it cool keep it natural you don't even have to say anything honestly you can put emojis just make sure that it's a natural engagement and it doesn't seem like you are trying to be seen but you are trying to be seen and with that being said and following the agencies and following the scouts you also want to make sure that you too are posting relevant content on your feed so that when they see your comment maybe they click your picture maybe they click your image and they look at your feed you want to show images of you you know your whole body your outfit you doing whatever you love to do your interests so that you can potentially get scouted so it all comes together you don't just want to comment comment on their stuff and then your Instagram feed is just dead or it's just not showing you. You want to show yourself as well because you never know who's looking and the model scout just might scout you through that way. So not only is following and engaging with modeling agencies and scouts relevant, but also submitting images to them. And a lot of agencies and a lot of scouts actually have an option where you can email them. So they have their personal email on there. So you should submit your digitals to them through that way. And when you're submitting your digitals through DM, include your measurements. You don't have to include a paragraph of why you want to be signed or why why you love the agency or how you hope to become a model uh, with that agency just submit your measurements your height your waist and your hip size and that's all you have to do and then just sit back see what happens if you don't hear anything back still engage and still work on your feed and posting relevant content and relevant videos and you might get scouted that way so never rule out anything you always have to continue to build and not only market yourself but network and networking through Instagram by just doing hashtags and tagging agencies and model scouts and building yourself on your feed is the easiest way to get scouted on social media and in 2022. Another way to heighten your chance in becoming a model in 2022 is attending open call. With quarantine, open call is totally different. Specifically, a lot of top modeling agencies aren't even having open call at the moment. And I think the reason being is because of how easy it is to scout for models through Instagram, through TikTok, through YouTube, just social media in general. So I don't think they're too worried about resuming open call at the moment, but there still are top agencies that do have open call. I've attended some, like I attended one for major models. I attended one for fusion models in New York not too long ago. So some agencies are still having open call, but a lot of them are not. Now local agencies, like smaller agencies, boutique agencies with smaller rosters of models, they are still having open call. Why? I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I don't I don't know why that is, but I just noticed that a lot of boutique modeling agencies are having open call, which is awesome. So attend open call because that's still a really good way of being seen and being scouted. Make sure that you go on the modeling agency's website, read the requirements, make sure that you get the time right, the date right, because I have definitely got the time and date wrong. So make sure that you get it right. You might want to send an email or call them just to assure that they're still having open call 
call because not all of them will say open call is closed like some of the top agencies say on their website. So just send them an email or call them just to assure that open call is still going on. Dress accordingly, presentably, dress the part for open call. And you don't really need much. You don't have to bring images. You don't have to bring a portfolio. Just bring yourself and look presentable. So those are the top ways of becoming a model in 2022. It all boils down to marketing yourself. You don't know who's online scouting. Brands are online, clients are online, people that work for their clients, that work for the brands, they're online, they can scout. They may see you and say, hey, I'm following this girl on Instagram. I really love her look. I think she'd be awesome for this project that we have. You just never know. So be current on your feed. Make sure that you're engaging with scouts. Make sure you're engaging with models agencies maybe you want to have a TikTok maybe you want to have a YouTube channel talk about and show things that interest you that you love to do as well as making yourself the center of the topic make sure that you're showing yourself showing your body showing what you look like as well as what you're interested in to make it easier for scouts and modeling agencies to want to sign you or to want to scout you so with that being said I hope you all enjoyed this video if you have any questions comments or concerns leave them down below if you have any other suggestions of videos that you want me to make make sure that you let me know down below and I will talk to you all next time